36 year old man presents to your walk in clinic complaining of recurrent abdominal pain constipation muscle pain and headaches over the last three months he reports no medical history or significant family history after further questioning you learn that he started working for a contractor several months ago and has been stripping and remodeling old warehouses on physical examination you see a bluish tinge to the gum tooth line in his mouth and a significant ankle drop on the left side this is very important a bluish tinge so what are the buzzwords in this case a 36 year old man is an important one and uh, mainly the abdominal pain muscle ache all these are present since last three months and also on physical examination there's a bluish tinge to the gum tooth line is very important as well as the ankle drop left or right is we don't care about it but uh, ankle drop you order serum studies and a peripheral blood smear expecting to find the microcytic hypochromic anemia and the important is a basophilic stripling on smear yeah now you advise the patient to pursue safer working conditions and decide to inform the proper authorities of the patient's working conditions so this is the case the last one leg poisoning mainly the blue is tinged to the gum tooth line by this maybe you're calling it a lead poisoning yes but uh, what type of porphyria it causes lead poisoning yes it is a case of lead poisoning just acquired one yeah so increased levels of lead in the blood leads to the inhibition of the enzyme delta amino levulinic acid dehydratase and ferrogelatase both because increased levels of lead in the blood causes inhibition of sulfhydryl groups remember that in the delta amino levulinic acid dehydratase and ferrogelatase sulfhydryl groups act as active sites so because of the inhibition of the sulfhydryl groups of the enzymes delta amino levulinic acid dehydratase and ferrogelatase even though enzyme concentration is normal active site is inhibited by the increased concentration of lead that is what is the biochemical defect and we know that the inorganic lead is absorbed via lungs as well as gastrointestinal tract mainly what happens if there is increased concentration of lead that causes disruption of the hemoglobin synthesis and leading to an increase in the fep right so that is example amino levulinic acid which contribute whenever there is an increased amino levulinic acid there will be oxidative damage to the several organ systems including demyelination and axonal degeneration in the nervous system so remember neurological manifestations are seen over here but there are no psychiatric manifestations over here neurological manifestations like neuropathy demyelination and axonal degeneration in the nervous system mainly there will be a decreased erythrocyte survival time that leads to increased hemolysis renal toxicity and hypertension so remember increased hemolysis renal toxicity and hypertension is mainly seen and what are the clinical manifestations abdominal pain which is mainly called as lead colic constipation and there are so many symptoms they'll give in the textbook but remember abdominal pain constipation lead line that is a bluish pigmentation seen on the gum tooth line and peripheral neuropathy all these are a very important clinical manifestations of lead poison and what are the lab findings lab findings are obviously present with elevated serum lead level microcytic hypochromic anemia basophilic stripling is a marker in this case on the peripheral blood smear and remember that the lead lines on the x-ray film are mainly seen on the long bone epiphysis these are called as lead lines 
and the treatment is reduction of the lead exposure is the only way you can treat this condition or or if the concentration of the lead is too much in the blood then chelation with succimer s u c i m e r which is also called as a 2,3 dimer captosuccinic acid so this is called as a succimer if the blood lead levels are like uh, 80 milligrams per deciliter remember succimer that is 2,3 dimer captosuccinic acid right dimer captosuccinic acid if the blood lead levels are approximately 80 micrograms per deciliter and other than this uh, chelation as well as reduction of the lead exposure the pharmacological treatment like administration of the vitamin c calcium penicillamine and dimer caprol are indicated mainly to decrease the hemolytic crisis in this patient so this is the important uh, typical case of lead poisoning.